The KCBD investigates team is focusing on how a new state law could impact Lubbock's work to curb juvenile crime. In September, Texas will ban curfews of any kind right when Lubbock typically sees a greater need to curtail juvenile activity after dark. KCBD News Channel 11's investigative reporter Shaley Sanders joined us now with a look at Lubbock's plight with underage violence and why the state is taking away this tool. Shaley? Karen and Nadra, the Texas Homeschool Coalition backed this bill, which it calls a game changer because it stops local curfew ordinances that, quote, disproportionately discriminate against homeschool families. The bill prohibits all juvenile curfews, which means the one right here in Lubbock will no longer be enforceable on September 1st. The Lubbock Police Department said lawmakers did not contact the department before the vote, which passed overwhelmingly in the House and unanimously in the Senate. On May 18th, the Lubbock Police Police Department launched its Juvenile Curfew Directed Enforcement Program. Since then, LPD says it has issued 13 citations to juveniles and 8 citations to adults responsible for them. Lubbock County Assistant Criminal District Attorney Jenny Simpson is the chief of the Juvenile Division and says the program is working. They're stopping juveniles and we're, we're seeing kids come into LCJJC that were stopped for the curfew but maybe had a gun on him or had drugs on them. But House Bill 1819, just signed by the governor, will prohibit juvenile curfews starting in September, which is exactly when Lubbock saw a spike in violent juvenile crime last year. According to LPD in 2022, officers arrested 71 juveniles for violent crimes. 17 of those arrests were in September. So far this year, LPD has arrested 34 juveniles for violent crimes. Recently, we had two juveniles that one committed and is charged with murder, and one is charged with aggravated robbery. We've got quite a few death-related events that are sitting in the back back there waiting adjudication. Um, our murder rate has gone up the past couple of years just tremendously. William Carter, director of the Lubbock County Juvenile Justice Center, is responsible for housing these juveniles. Our intakes into our detention center are really based off of the more violent crime. We very rarely have a misdemeanor in here that's uh, anything less than an assault of nature. Carter says so far this year, LCJJC has housed 453 juveniles. Here's a breakdown of the charges they're facing. 297 felonies, 189 misdemeanors, and 217 3G offenses, which are considered the most serious crimes, like murder, aggravated robbery, and sexual assault. Carter says 964 juveniles were housed in the facility last year, charged with a total of 569 felonies, 678 misdemeanors, and 411 3G offenses. We spoke with a representative of the Texas Homeschool Coalition, an organization that advocated for House Bill 1819. The coalition sent us a statement that reads in part, THSC believes that if a child is committing an actual crime, the law enforcement should handle that according to the law, but just being outside of their home should not be a crime. Lubbock Mayor Trey Payne says city leaders will need to meet this summer to decide if they will take affirmative action to repeal the juvenile curfew ordinance. But for now, the directed enforcement remains in place. We spoke with State Senator Brian Hughes, who co-sponsored this bill. Hughes says after listening to testimony, it made sense to eliminate all juvenile curfews because he says there's no evidence that they actually reduce crime. Hughes says laws like these are always a work in progress, and if there is an argument to enforce nighttime curfews, he's willing to hear that testimony next session. Karen and Abner, 